Welcome, Lisa. Thank you for being here for another day of Qigong. And let us begin. Okay. Well, I'm just going to feature my, I put everything red up <laughs> because red is warmth. I even wore red. So I think that today what the focus is, is warming, warming up, warming ourselves, warming our organs, warming our bodies, our heart, our mind. Um, and that's what, that's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to share with you because I need it. And I think probably you all do too. Starting with a, um, a little mudra and uh, it goes like this and people usually like it. So we'll do it twice. And um, here I go. Hands and words. Let's see if we can get all my, I arise. And I ask for the light. I ask that this day be beautiful with light. That as far as I can see, I will follow it aright. I ask for the courage to go through the shadows. I ask for the light. So I'll do it one more time. Um, it's a poem by Mary Austin. And I believe the hand gestures are, um, I, I, I'm not sure, I better not say anymore. I did not put it together. This is from my, my mentor and teacher, CL. So it's, I arise facing east. Oh, I forgot that. And I ask, for the light. I ask that this day be beautiful with light. That as far as I can see, see, I will follow it aright. I ask for the courage to go through the shadows. I ask for the light. So that's what we're going to ask for today. And as always, it is sunny and cold, but we're on the warming end and we're gonna start off by warming our hands together. Lao Goom, fire point in the palm of your hands, focusing on the warmth, bringing in summer, placing our hands over our faces, and then taking your hands and going over your bahui point, your point of a thousand lights, let those lights shine up and all the way down the back of your neck, around under your armpits, down the back of your, where your kidneys are. And then I'm just gonna say down the back of your legs, around your ankles and up. This is tracing the channels, tracing your, Chi channels. We'll do it again. Warming. Going up and around. Under your armpits is a heart point. Then you circle to the kidneys in the back, lower back, down the bladder meridian, around your ankles, and up the liver points, and back to your. Dantian. The Dantian is your center, the energy field. It's where you store energy and it's where you, you move from. You'll hear me talk about the Dantian more than once. The next uh, little chi massage, getting your, your energy flowing, is called stretching the feathers. So you're going to have your palms out, circle. Focus on that baby finger and stretch, lifting up your chin and head, turning to your right side, stretching, exhaling, and releasing. And again, palms out, circling, focusing on the pinky, really stretch, lifting up, turning to the left, Exhale and release. 
That opens up the yang channels down your arm. We're gonna open up the yin channels, which is the opposite. Palms and then focusing on the thumbs. So scoop, open, focus on the thumbs, really stretch your arms, lift up, turn to your shoulder and exhale and release. Stretching your feathers. Focus on the thumbs, lifting up, inhale, exhale over to your shoulder and release. So you've opened up the inside channels and the outside channels of your arms. Always yin and yang. The next one is rubbing your ears. So it's position like this, front and back. Rubbing them vigorously and then pinching softly on the outer edge of your ear. Your ear holds all the acupuncture points of every organ in your body. And then I always tug at the earlobe because I think that's the eyes and ears and sinuses. So again, just rubbing and a gentle pinch. And the next warm up is ringing the temple gong. And that's uh, covers quite a few of the organs. So your feet are a little shoulder width apart, your knees very soft, your arms are going to be going around, getting to the kidneys back here. So we are the temple, our bodies are the temple and our arms are the gong. And you might wanna just give a little bounce, feel the flow, let the energy move your arms. They're kind of loose and soft. Warming up the kidneys, the water points. And then we're gonna move up to the lung point. Right here, beginning of your chi flow. We want to keep the lungs happy. We want to keep all of these um, channels open. So by tapping, it gets them stirred up. And then back to the kidneys. This is just a real simple uh, exercise to do in the morning to get, to get uh, your body warmed up and of course during the winter the kidneys you know water can take many forms and when it's cold it freezes and just let your arms come to a, a conclusion the next one i'm, I'm just deciding because you can't see everything is just rocking from uh, right to left left to right and in Tai Chi and, and Qigong too, although we don't move our legs as much. Um, you think of your legs as um, one of those sand timers. I know there's an, another name for it. So you fill up one leg and lift up and let the sand go into the other leg. So you definitely feel that shift in weight just shifting from left to right. It's not a sway, it's that lifting and then sinking. Lifting and sink. And then bringing your feet back to uh, a parallel position We'll do an organ energizer because all of our organs are important to keep warm and keep cheat up. So just to reacquaint you and, and uh, myself to where the organs are. Um, so you're going to be the right hand is going to rest on the lower edge of the ribs. 
So it rests basically on the liver, the gallbladder, and just the corner of the large intestine. And then your left hand is gonna be on the spleen, the pancreas, the stomach area, and, and the corner of the large intestine. So the large intestine is a lot of miles. So I'm just gonna rub them, warm them, and an inner smile and thank you to these organs that just keep us going and we don't give them much attention until they hurt. So the next one is gonna be the right hand is, um, is on the, I'm, up, I'm upside down, is on the, uh, upper, the upper heart and the thymus and the lungs. And then the left hand is down at your dantian, your navel, if you want to call it that, your stomach area. It's where you store your energy and we're going to warm up our hearts, our thymus, which keeps us healthy, among other things, and the lungs. All of this just works together. Everything works together. And that inner smile and thank you. And then the lower back again goes to the kidneys. And just find the best way. I find it difficult palms in, so I do the back of my hands. And just massage, warm them up. This is the home of the Jing. It's the home of the energy that was given to you by your mother and father, and, and they got theirs from their mother and father. It's our link. And remember, you're, we're only given so much Jing, and it's important that we care for our Jing. So again, just that inner smile and thank you. Two kidneys, one on the right, one on the left, and that uh, gateway, the Min Meng point in between. And finally, just both hands on your Dantian. Technically, your Dantian is just a, a two fingers below your, your belly button. And it is called many things, elixir field, uh, energy, furnace. It's where you store energy. You can always put your energy there, no matter what kind of energy it is, just put it there. It's also very important because that's where we move from. If we all move from this way, we wouldn't have so many knee injuries and so many problems with other joints that are not meant to move in the direction that we ask them to. But remember just as we do our exercises, we're gonna be concentrating here, the physical center where we move from. So we're warmed up. And now we just have to figure out how to align our three treasures so that we can really fulfill um, our, our energy. We can uh, use all that good chi. So it's the, um, the three treasures. I've likened it to a candle, the gut, the physical part of our bodies, the wax. The wick is the chi, the heart. And the flame is our shen, our spirit. So there's the lower dantian, physical energy, mid dantian, heart mind, and upper dantian, which is your, chi, your um, shen, your spirit, the flame. And it all, you can't have one without the other. You can have a candle, but if it doesn't have a wick and it's not lit, it's, it's just going to be the physical part. So we want to light up. We want to fire up. So the posture and is very important. And what is really important is that even if you're sitting, that you're, you soften your joints. Your knees are soft. And you sink. Not collapse. Just 
sink a little into the earth beneath your feet. Feel the density of the earth. It doesn't matter if you're on the first floor or the third floor, there is earth beneath your feet. There is that confidence that, yes, I'm okay right here. And we want to feel the quality of gravity. So gravity keeps us here. So just make use of it in, it, in its proper way. Sometimes we we literally fall into gravity, but we don't want to fall. We want to stand verticalness, our, our vertical, and feel that verticalness. So stretch, sink, lift, and open all this area here where all those vital organs are. Open up. The bubbling spring is at the soles of your feet. Very, very important to connect to the earth at that point. We get a lot of yin energy from there. So the focus is the other part of, of um, the three treasures is, is how I call them. And the focus is um, what do you want right now? Where are you right now? Do you want to to just have this moment to yourself, to, to do something that, I don't know, maybe some people would think is silly, but it feels good and you're here and that's what's important. So the focus is a move that we will do several times today and it's a signature move, move from um, our teacher uh, and it's called Embrace Tiger, Return to Mountain. So the Embrace Tiger is um, you, the tiger is you, so you're just literally going to lift it up, all of your tiger energy. And when you return to mountain, you just release it and be right here at this moment on top of your mountain. And I usually start it this way by a big circle. It's the potential for the day, the potential for us, all the possibilities, and then embrace the tiger and return to mountain. Again, it's a simple move, but it's it's very um it, it's just it makes you it makes me feel good when I don't know quite what to do. Feel confused another day waiting for my vaccine. I just embrace the tiger and return to mountain. This is where I am. This is where I'm supposed to be. So that's the focus. It's gathering the earth and the sky above and connecting. This is where we live. So we have the posture, the focus, and then the other one is the breath. And the breath is inhaling and exhaling through your nose. It's nothing fancy, but I have a small breathing meditation. And if you want to, you can sit down. It's not that long, um, but again, it brings to you the importance of the breath. The, the breath is the gateway between the mind and the body. And so sometimes again, if you're feeling off center, if you don't know, don't know what to do, don't know how to, the anxiety or the stress, find your breath, it's helpful. So this is a, a meditation that, uh, well, Carol knows, um, uh, a friend uh, shared with us and I'm gonna take you through it. And I always start with a, 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 a big exhale because if you exhale, you have to inhale. So on the inhale, call something you want to cultivate. On the exhale, let go of something that no longer serves you. On the inhale, breathe in ease. And on the exhale, breathe out struggle. On the inhale, breathe in peace. 
And on the exhale, breathe out discord. And on the inhale, breathe in curiosity. And on the exhale, breathe out judgment. And on the inhale, breathe in simplicity. And on the exhale, breathe out complication. On the inhale, breathe in trust. And on the exhale, breathe out doubt. So with our posture, our focus, and our breath, our body becomes the teacher and our mind can receive. We're centered. Time to move into the fire and water movements. Um, I chose some heart uh, movements. Technically, in the five element moving forces, uh, heart and fire is summertime, but you know, what the heck? We might as well bring summer into our bodies. Uh, so we're going to start off with um, getting into our posture, feet uh, shoulder width apart, and uh, connecting with that bubbling spring on the soles of our feet. Remember, lift, stretch, and open. We're going to start with uh, mixing yin and yang, because the yin and yang is what creates the chi in our heart. So we're going to be um, just lifting up with our left hand, the yin of the earth, bringing down the yang of heaven, lifting up the yin of earth with our right and the yang of heaven. So basically it is a wheel, water wheel motion. It's a simple motion. And just take a, a, a second, a couple of seconds here and get into the flow. Don't forget your legs, even though they're not moving. You want them to be soft. And you even want to pump up that bubbling spring because it helps with our energy. And when we forget about which arm goes up and which arm goes down and all of that, just allow the flow to happen. This is mixing yin and yang. It goes up the back and down the front, if you want to think of it that way, but it opens up our major meridians. It, it decongests. Yin and yang. That's what creates the chi in our heart. It makes, it creates the humanness. And then bring in that yin and yang energy into your heart. And open. Kaishin. Open heart, open mind, open body. And close and open. Well, we like to give away some of our, our good chi, but we also like to hold on to it. And this is a way of, of sharing, of experiencing our humanness through our, our open hands and our open heart. And again, don't forget that little pumping action. That's a whole part of the Qigong that um, just, it just provides us with that connection to the earth, to the heavens above, to ourselves. And then slowing down a little, you're going to inhale as you open, exhale as you come back.
Kaishin. So let's start with again that wheel of yin and yang mixing together. And going back into the sharing through Kaishin. And just feel that flow, the ease of the flow when you forget about what you're doing. And then we're going to bring heavens to the heart. And that's where you're going to reach out with your right hand. And I can't mirror. Some people can do that, but I'm just going to say right hand. Doesn't matter. It can be the left because we switch. You're going to bring the heavens to the heart and your left hand is out this way. So you're at a diagonal, bring it in and switch. So you're going to be turning from the Dantian, soft, soft knees and pushing up from that bubbling spring. And the focus, the intention is you're gonna bring yang energy in to the heart. And again, just feel that flow. All these Qigong moves once you get into what the move is, they, they can become dance moves. Filling up the heart. Keeping your hands soft. Remember, you can focus on the Lao Goon, that, that fire point in the palm of your hands. Literally, it's bringing it in, gathering and bringing it in. Inhaling as you're doing it and exhale as you come back to your heart. And then we're going to go into cloud hands. It's another uh, fire heart energy uh, move and your right hand or your left whatever if you get mixed up looking at me goes out it's it's the cloud and as you turn from your dantian soft knees your left hand becomes the cloud and i always think of the upper hand is the cloud the lower hand is the breeze and you want to keep that upper hand, the cloud over your heart. And the heart is, is about emotion. That's our humanness. Not that animals do not have hearts. But we have so many emotions that go through us on a daily level. And the one thing that we know at some point is that things change. And some emotions kind of stick around. But if you just think of them as clouds just moving, moving through. And again, feeling the flow, moving from the Dantian, letting your arms just pick up that energy, pumping from the bubbling spring. And one more time going right into peaceful circles. And I think we, some of you have been, we did it. Again, it's a, it's a crossing over, um, feet maybe a little bit wider 
knee soft, right arm going to the left, moving from the Dantian, fingers straight out, hands relaxed, bringing the circle back, crossing the Dantian. And this is the Zen circle, the, the peaceful circle. It can also just be your creating your personal space. A mandala with you as the center. Maybe a way to deal with news or stuff you don't want to think about or you just create a peaceful circle around yourself. And it can be a small one. It can just be a little one. Remember the circle, uh, circular movement is a very healing movement. And then just bringing it, storing that energy in your Dantian and then going out with your left, turning to the right, fingers pointing out, circling and returning. There's always the going out and knowing we can return. Reaching up and coming back. Again, just feeling the flow of the circle. Everything organic or natural is, is a circular form. And again, with the left hand, you can make the small circle too. And storing it into your Dantian. Now we'll switch into a little bit of water movements because we can't have just fire. That would burn us up. That would be something if it burned us up today, but we're just gonna add some just cool water moves. And this is just the gliding hands through the water. It's, it's similar to the, the peaceful circle but it's uh, an image that I like because I like, you know, standing in the water and just kind of letting your hands run through it. You're not quite ready to take the plunge. But you can feel your fingertips. And again, just using that little pumping from the bubbling spring. It's amazing what that little motion does. It creates the flow. And again, just inhaling and exhaling. Sound in an echo. Can't have one without the other. And bringing our hands back down to our Dantian and going into the floating arms as if uh, there's little strings attached to your wrists. Elbows come down first and everything follows. Lifting up, pumping up and releasing. This is when you step into the water and the water's over your waist and your feet are on that sandy bottom. Still on the earth. And release. 
So again, this is a, a real easy one of inhaling and exhaling. Feeling the flow. and release. And the next move is the fountain and that is palms back to back this way, starting at your Dantian, just like a fountain and around. Inhaling and exhaling. And when you do the, especially the fountain, is really just focus on those kidneys in the lower back. These exercises aren't just connected word-wise to water. They have a movement that connects to the organ and the kidneys are the water organs, kidneys and bladder. So we're pumping up with the bubbling spring, focusing on the small of our back where the two kidneys lie and lifting with the gesture and intention of water. and bringing your hands back down. Um, I'm gonna take you through the uh, opening of the Five Moving Forces, which is a Tai Chi uh, form that Karen and I do. Um, and I, I wanna share it with you. you. You know the moves. <laughs> and the difference between Qigong and Tai Chi is that one move leads into another move, leads into another move. Um, so we're going to start with the Embrace Tiger Return to Mountain and um, follow along. We'll do it a couple of times. It has uh, an amplified flow to it because it's got all the, the different moves we've, we've done this morning. And um, it starts with that unlimited opportunities, the potential for this day and goes into Embrace Tiger, Return to Mountain. Embracing all of the energy you are and just being here with all of us at this moment. And then the next move is your arms go to the side and we go into Kaishin. But we're gonna cross, it's like we're giving a hug and crossing our wrists and connecting with our shin and coming down to the chi, our heart, mind, and opening, kai shin. Open heart, open mind, open body. With your left hand reaching up to the cosmos, the heavens above, the yang energy, right goes to the yin, and we do that, um, that wheel of yin and yang, the mixing. It is how we live, how everything lives on this earth, yin and yang. And bring all that yin and yang energy into the Dantian. It's your energy field, uh, your furnace, if you want to think of it that way. And you open up that furnace and you become fire. Fire goes up and then we also need the cooling water and water always comes down to its lowest level. So we'll take, we'll go through that again. That's just the beginning. There's five moving forces. We've done two of them. Um, next month, if you come, we'll do, we'll do uh, the, the, the third one and maybe the fourth one and the fifth one, but we'll just see how it goes. Potential, big circle, unlimited opportunities for 
us this day. Embrace tiger, return to mountain. Reaching out, gathering all the energy around us, all from, from us, from you. And making the big hug, crossing our wrists at heart level, but then reaching up to our spirit, our upper dantian, the heart mind, and it opens, kai shing. Reaching up to the cosmos, down to the earth, bringing those two together, yin and yang, into our dantian, and the fire always goes up. Fire spreads and goes up, and then the water returns and goes down to the lowest level, which is below your feet, bubbling spring. So we'll just do it one more time without my talking totally through it. Embrace tiger. Return to mountain. Reaching out. Kaishin. Connecting to the earth and the cosmos. Wrapping them up and putting them into our dantian and releasing. Huo. Hua is the, is the word for fire, and shui is the word for water. So that's the beginning of the five moving forces. And then we just do sun, moon, sun in the right, moon in the left. We honor our teachers and their teachings. And I have to honor Zolian Yao Wang, my Tai Chi teacher who choreographs at these things. And sun in the left, moon in the right, we honor Unity um, Church and Karen for putting this together. And, uh, and then we honor ourselves. So to, um, I wanted to do the healing emotions, which we did last time. But the heart is about emotions. And um, the organs hold the emotions, and, and that's what causes issues for us. So we want to heal them. So this is a sit down, and I might actually sit down too, if I can. Oh, yeah, perfect. So it's healing the emotions, and I will take you through um, the different organs and the different emotions uh, that they hold and how to, and to release them and bring in the new. So if your feet are flat on the floor and just sitting upright if it's comfortable for you, um, and take a moment to connect with your breath. And bring your mind to your lungs and, and just sense there where they are. And as you inhale, draw integrity and dignity into the lungs. And as you exhale, carry away worry and sadness. And let that image go. And then bring your mind to your kidneys in the small of your back. And inhale wisdom with the confidence of self-knowledge. And exhale all fears and anxiety. Mm. 
inhaling wisdom and exhaling anxiety. And then let that image go. And then bring your mind to your liver. It's on the right side, down by your waist. And inhale kindness. And exhale and release anger. Inhaling kindness and exhaling anger. And let that image go. Now bring your mind to your heart and inhale peace. <clears throat> and exhale restlessness, restlessness and intensity and excess emotions. So you're bringing in peace on the inhale and exhaling, restlessness, intensity, and excess emotions. And let that image go. And bring your mind to your spleen on your left side, your spleen or your stomach area, your pancreas. And inhale trust, innocence, and acceptance. And exhale pensiveness, worry, and excess empathy. Inhaling trust, innocence, and acceptance, and exhaling worry and excess empathy. And now bring your mind to the center of your body, your Dantian, and you can use this affirmation repeating to yourself with your breath. As you inhale, my emotions are, and as you exhale, balanced and calm. My emotions are balanced and calm. My emotions are balanced and calm. So bring your awareness to the lower Dantian, your, your abdomen area, and just feel the ground beneath your feet, your bubbling spring, and feel the surface of your body. And slowly come back. And I have one last little greeting 
which I love, and I can't find it now. Hopefully I'll remember it. Oh, darn. It's, um, oh, here it is. It's a parting, a parting blessing. It says, may the blessed sun shine upon us. May the blessed sun shine upon us and warm our hearts till they glow like a great fire so that strangers may come and warm themselves at the flame. Thank you for coming.